let us start here design problem in the tension member first i will read the problem an unequal angle of 1.5 meter long is connected to a gusset plate so the length of we have to design an unequal angle for a length of 1.5 meter is connected to the gusset plate it carries an ultimate tension load of 230 kilo newton design the section using 20 mm diameter 4.6 grade poles take the thickness of the gusset plate as 10 mm here we have to design an unequal angle section in this they didn't mention they got that uh, connected leg and the unconnected leg details so to have economical design always we have to connect the longer leg with the gusseted plate longer leg with the gusseted plate given in the problem is 230 kilo newton first we have to choose a suitable section before that we have to see the condition for the safe design that is t less than td t is the ultimate tensile force given in the problem as 230 kilo newton td is the design tensile strength of the members td is least of tdg tdn td p1 td p2 so this condition is provided in the code is 800 see this is the condition for the safe design t less than td so t is given in the problem td we have to find out the td value for the first we have to select a suitable section so approximate area required equal to load by stress in our formula stress is equal to load by area i am rewriting this area equal to load by stress i am converting the given load into newton by multiplying with 1000 divided by stress since we are solving the problem in limited design that's why i keep that uh, partial safety factor 1.1 for the elution 250 so i got approximate area required as 1012 mm square based on this area i have to select a sheet of section from the steel table which is having the area little more than this so i have selected the angle section isa 100 by 65 by 8 mm it is an unequal angle section from the steel table its area is noted as 1257 mm square it is greater than the area required in okay let us proceed with this section so i also noted down that uh, radius of variation about x axis axis and y y axis this value would be used to the stiffness at the end of this problem so minimum radius of variation is 18.3 mm first we will find out the design strength due to yielding of the cross section tdg equal to ag into fy by gamma m yeah. this uh, expression is provided in the class 6.2 of page number 32 let me go to the page design strength due to yielding of the cross section tdg equal to ag into fy by gamma m yeah. the ag is the cross area of the cross section fy is the yield stress of the material gamma m yeah is the partial safety factor for yielding that value is provided in table 5 page number 30 so gamma m yeah value for yielding is the partial safety factor value is 1.5 One. Once we know all the values, we can substitute in this equation. A G is one two five seven. F I is two fifty. Gamma M naught is one point one. So calculating these values, we can get that T D G value is two eighty five point six eight kilo newton. Next, we have to calculate the design strength due to rupture of the critical section. That is the T D N. Before going to calculate the T D N value, first we have to design the connections. So let me I put the title as design of bolts. the diameter of the bolt is given as 20 mm diameter of the bolt is uh, nominal diameter plus standard clearance the standard clearance value is available in table 19 page number 73 na is 800 let me go to that page the table 19 page number 73 provided the clearance for the fastener bolts for the standard clearance for the diameter of 20 mm bolt it is 2 mm it is 2 mm So by adding these two m mm with the nominal diameter, I got the diameter of the bolt as 22 m. Mm. Then I first I will calculate the shear capacity of the bolt. V D S P equal to F U by root 3 N N A N P plus N S A S P into 1 by gamma N P. This value expression is obtained from the class 10.3.3 page number 75. Let me go to the page page number 75 to get the formula to calculate the shear capacity of the bolt. Shear capacity of the bolt. Design uh, shear. Capacity VDSP equal to nominal shear capacity by gamma mp 
for normal CSK first we have given a formula so I can directly write, uh, directly write that VDSP equal to FE by root 3 and then NP plus NSISP into 1 by gamma FE where FE is the ultimate tensile strength of the pole since we are using a 4.6 grade pole the first time 4 into 100 will give the ultimate tensile strength of the pole as 400 then N is the uh, number of shear planes since we are uh, making the joint with the angle section and the gusset plate, uh, that is an, we are connecting this by using a bolt. They are having only one interface. So, at that interface only, the bolt is possibility of, to, uh, to fail at the shear at only one location. So, it is subjected to single shear. The bolt is subjected to single shear. Therefore, n equal to 1. Whether that shear plane is passing through that threaded portion or sunk portion, accordingly we have to make it as that n value as either n n or n s. On the safer side, I always assume that our shear plane is passing through the, uh, the threaded portion. Threaded portion. Therefore, n n equal to one. So, I am assuming that shear plane is at the threaded portions. Once we know the value of all, we can substitute in this equation. F e equal to 400 by root 3. A and B is the net area of the pole. That is at the threaded portion, area will be lesser. That will be obtained by 0 0.78 into pi d squared by 4, where uh, D is the diameter of the pole. Nominal diameter is 20 mm here. N s is 0. Then, gamma M p is 1.25. That value is obtained from table 5, page number. 30. Let me go to that page. See, table 5, gamma MP. For bolts of bearing type, gamma MP is equal to, both for shop and fabric, field fabrication, the value is 1.25. So, I have to use the value of 1.25. So, I got the VDSP value is 45.27. Next, I have to calculate the bearing capacity of the bolt VDPP. That is provided by the code in the which class? This is the class 10.3.4, page number 75. I have to go to the page number 75 in IS 800 to get the formula to calculate the bearing capacity of the code. So, this see the class 10.3.4 bearing capacity of the code VDPP equal to. That is the design bearing strength of the bolt is equal to nominal bearing strength by gamma mp. For nominal bearing strength, they have given the formula. I will write the, directly write the VDPP equal to 2.5 kp dt fe into 1 by gamma mp. Where kp is smaller, e by 3 dot comma p by 3 dot minus 0.25 comma fu b by fu comma 1. To get the value of kp, first I have to know the value of edge distance e and pitch p. So for edge distance e. So, I have written the formula, edge distance E equal to 1.7 into D naught. This condition is provided in the class 10.2.4.2, page number 74. 10.2.4.2, page number 74. Let me go to the page, page number 74. See, 10.2.4.2, the minimum edge and the edge distance from the center of any hole to the nearest edge of the page shall not be less than 1.7 times the whole diameter in case of sheared or hand plane cut edges. 1.5 times the whole diameter in case of rolled or machine plane cut or shorn and plane edges. If the edges are very smooth, it was from uh, uh, directly supplied from the rolling mill or it is a machine plane cut means we can provide the lesser value of 1.5 times the diameter of the hole. But we don't know whether the contractor how they will cut that edges and all. So on the safer side, I am assuming that the edges are having sheared, not smooth. So I used the formula of 1.7 into V naught to get the value of E. So 1.7 into diameter of the code 22 equal to 37.4 mm. This is the minimum requirement as per the code. Either we have to use this value exactly or we have to round up to on the higher side and we can use that value. For the pitch P is greater than or equal to 2.5 times nominal diameter of the pole. This is obtained from the class 10.2.2 page number 73. Let me go to the page, page number 73, 10.2.2, minimum spacing. The distance between the center of the fastener shall not be less than 2.5 times the nominal diameter of the fastener. Here fastener means bolt. 
So 2.5 into nominal diameter is 20, it is 50 mm. It is uh, directly getting the round of value. So let me provide the edge distance C equal to 40 mm, which P equal to 50 mm. Once we know this value, we can substitute that it's in this KP equations. It's E by 3D naught, where the edge distance C is 40 mm, 3 into D naught is the diameter of the hole that is 22 mm. Then P by 3D naught, P is which is 50 mm, 3 into 22 minus 0.25, uh, FUB, ultimate tensile capacity of the hole is 400, since we are using a 4.6 grade hole. The 410 is the capacity of the plate or sections, then 1. You can calculate this value. The least or smaller value among these 4 will be your KP, that is 0 0.5075. Okay, once you know the value of KP, you can directly go to the substitution of all the values in the VDP field. Bearing capacity of 2.5 into KP, this one is KP, D. This is the nominal diameter of the hole that is 20 mm. Then T, T thickness, which one will, will fail by bearing? Here is the contrast is between the, uh, the gusset plate and the angle section. Here angle section thickness is 8 mm, gusset plate thickness is 10 mm. Least among these two is 8 mm. So we have to use the least value of 8 mm here. Then coming to FU, uh, that will be the minimum of your ultimate tensile capacity of the bolt and plate the least is 400 comma mp is 1.25 to make it this value in kilometer and dividing whole value by 1000 so vdpp is 64.96 kilonewton and then bolt value is least of vdsp and vdpp vdpp is 64.96 vdsp already calc i have calculated as 45.27 the least among these two value will be your Bolt value or strength of the one bolt that is 45.27 kN. The number of bolts required equal to the given ultimate tensile strength. The problem is 230 kN. So we have to we have to design the bolts accordingly to resist the force of 230 kN. So 230 by strength of the one bolt will be the number of bolts as 5.08. Therefore, I am providing six number of bolts in one row. Then next we will move on to the formula to calculate the TDN, rupture of the critical section. Go to the formula, TDN can be obtained from class 10.3.3. Since we are dealing with the angle sections, we have to use that. TDN equal to 0 0.9 ANC FU by gamma M1 plus beta H naught FI by gamma M naught. I have written this same formula. Then, where beta can be separately calculated by using this expression 1.4 minus 0 0.076 W by T FI by FU VS by LC. This should be less than or equal to FU into gamma M naught divided by FI into gamma M1. This should be greater than or equal to 0 0.7. Now, all these expressions are given in this quote, page number 33. You have to write all this expression. First, we will calculate the beta value. The unknowns in this equation is AMC, then AG naught and beta. We will calculate one by one. First, we will calculate the beta value. To get a beta value, first we have to mark what is by W. W is the outstanding leg width. Outstanding leg width. If one leg is connected, other leg is unconnected, the unconnected leg can be called as the outstanding leg. Here we are using an unequal angle section of 100 by 65 by 8 mm size. So the outstanding leg W equal to 65 mm. So I will make a drawing. This is a 100 mm leg connected to the gusset plate of 10 mm thickness. 65 is the outstanding leg that is our W. So from figure, you can cut the value of W at 65 mm. Then DS, DS, PS can be W plus W1 minus T. For the first, we have to calculate the W1. W1 is this, this edge to center of this curve. The total width is 100 mm. The edge distance from this here to center of the hole is 40 mm. So here, so here is 40 mm edge distance. So the rest will be W1. Therefore, W1 can be obtained by total depth 100 
minus edge distance 40. 100 minus 40 gives the 60 mm. That will be our W1. Now we got the value, know the value of W, W1, where T is the thickness of the angle is 8 mm. Thickness of the angle is 8 mm. Substituting all this value in BS expression, you can get the BS value as 117 mm. Then length of the connection is centered to center of the first fastener to last fastener. Here we are providing 6 fasteners from the center of this hole to this center of this hole will be your length of this connection. That will be your providing 6 bolts. Therefore, 5 gaps are there. 5 into 50 will give the length of the connection as 250 mm. So, once we know the value of BS, W, LC, we can substitute in this expression to calculate the beta 1.4 minus 0 0.076. W by T, W is 65, T is 8, FY, 250, FU, 410, BS, we have calculated the BS as 117, LCS 250, that should be less than FU into gamma M0 by FY into gamma M1, we can substitute all the values. So, we can simplify this expression, we can get the beta values 1.223. It satisfies the conditions of it is less than 1.4432 greater than 0.7. So, since we can use this value as it is. Next, we have to calculate the A and C net area of the connected leg. This one is the connected leg. The total width is 100. From this edge to this is 100. We have to calculate based on the center line length. Center line up to the center line. We have to detect this uh, half of this thickness. That is 8 by 2. 4 mm we have to detect here. Uh, to obtain the center line length. Center line length will be like this only. This question, this will be the, your center line length. So, the center line length equal to 100 minus T by 2. 100 minus T by 2 means this distance we got it. Then, in between that we have a one hole dia. The hole diameter is 22. That also I have detected. So, finally I put this as a length into thickness. Thickness of this number is 8. So, multiplying this 2, I got the value of net area of the connected legs is 592 mm squared. Coming to the unconnected leg, unconnected leg, total width is 65, center line length is, this one is your center line length, from here to here, that is 65 minus t by 2, this 8 is t, t by 2. So, we got the length, there is no hole for deduction, therefore, I did not detect any hole here, hole diameter into multiplying with thickness got the area gross area of the outstanding leg as 488 mm square once we know that of a and c and a g naught we have to substitute all the values in the tdn expression tdn expression is already we have written here tdn expression 0 0.9 a and c net area of the connected leg a g naught gross area of the outstanding leg we know the value of f y gamma m naught gamma m1 everything substitute all these values in the tdn expression 0 0.9 a and C, then A G naught, F Y, F U, gamma M naught, gamma F one. Multiplying all these things, you can get the answer in terms of Newton. Dividing by thousand, you can get the TDN value as three ten point four kilo Newton. So now we have calculated the TDG TDN. Next we have to calculate the TDP strength governed by blocks here. To get this TDP value, we have two expressions are provided in the code. We see that equations that are provided in the class 6.4.1 page 33 that are provided in the class 6.4.1 page 33. So we can write these equations here. The unknowns in this equation are AVG, ATN, AVN, then and ATG. So we have to calculate that AVG, AVN, ATG, ATN. V mentioned for shear, T mentioned for tension, G mentioned for gross, N for net. So, AVG means gross shear area, AVN means net shear area, ATG means gross tension area, ATN means net tension area. So, for that, first we have to make a drawing very clearly. From the drawing, you can easily find out the value of shear and tension. For that, we have made a clear drawing. This is an angle section. Okay. This is the connected leg. Connected leg is having a width of 100 mm. 
is connected to the gusset plate uh, by using six number of bolts. The bolt hole is 22 mm diameter. So the connector leg is having a width of 100 mm. We have provided six number of bolts with a pitch of 50 mm, edge distance of 40 mm, end, sorry, end distance of 40 mm, edge distance also 40 mm. It is subjected to a tensile force of T at both the ends. This is the end of this member. This is the gusset plate. So it is subjected to a tensile force. This will be the your failure plane. The part of the end of the member will fail as a block. This is the failure plane. The failure plane involving a shear plane. This is subjected to shear plane. Shear plane. This is tension plane. So each planes are perpendicular to each other. The shear force is acting opposite. Uh, sorry, acting parallel to the applied force. The tension line is acting perpendicular to the applied force. So first we will calculate the AVG gross area due to shear. AVG. How we can get the AVG length of the shear line into thickness. Length is from the center of this hole to this edge. So we have a 6 bolts, therefore 5 gaps are there, 5 into 50 plus 40. So total length of the shear line into thickness of the member is 8 mm, not gusset plate. Only member is going to fail along this line. Therefore you have to put the thickness of the members. So we got the AVG value is 2320 mm squared. So next coming to the AVN, net shear area. Net shear area means in this shear line, shear failure line, we have to see how many bolt holes are there for detections. After detecting all these bolt holes, we can get the net shear line length. Net shear length can be obtained by total length is 5 into 50 plus 40. We have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. We have a half bolt hole is there. So we have to detect. 5.5 times 5 full holes, 1 half full. 5.5 into diameter of the hole is 22. We got the total length, net shear length into thickness 8 gives the AVN value of 1352 mm square. Then coming to the tension line. The tension line is from the center of this hole to the nearest edge. Center of this hole to this nearest edge. This is the tension line length. That is the total length. That is capital LT. That is your edge distance 40. Therefore, 40 into 8 will give the ATG. Then coming to ATN. How many holes are in the tension line? We are having half holes from the center to here. So we have to detect to get the small LT value. Capital LT minus 0.5 times diameter of the hole. The diameter of the hole is 22. So 0.5 into 22 can be detected from the total length 40. We got the LT value. Net tension length into thickness 8 gives the area 230 mm squared. Once we know the value of AVG, AVN, ATG, ATN, we can start substitute in that expression to calculate the block shear strength TDP1. TDP1, the expression is AVG into FY. AVG, where is AVG? AVG is 2320 AVG AVG into FY then root 3 then gamma M0 here gamma M1 so the gamma M0 is 1.1 gamma M1 is 1.25 232 is the ATN value substitute all these equations sorry all these values in this TDP1 expression find the value in Newton dividing by 1000 you can get the load in kilo Newton that value 372.907 Kilo Newton. Coming to the second equation to calculate the block shear strength, that is 0 0.9. See the expression 0.9 AVN into FU by root 3 into gamma 1. AVN. AVN is 1352. I have to use this value 1352 here. AVN into FU root 3 gamma M1. Then here the second part is ATG into Fy by gamma M0, ADG is 320. So that's why you have to use 
ATG is 320 into FY is 250, gamma m is 1.1. Uh, then by using calculator, you can find this value. Dividing 1000, you can get the force in kilo newton as 303.153 kilo newton. Now we got the four values. TDG, TDN, TDP1, TDP2. The design strength of the member TD is minimum of TDG, TDN, TDP1, TDP2. Here this one is 303.153, that is 372.907 TDN is 310.40 TDG first step we have calculated the very first step that is 285.68 among this four value least is 285.68 therefore here design is governed by yielding of the gross section so therefore we got the TD value as 285.68 kilo newton the T value given in the problem is 230 kilo newton. So the, our design is safe. They ask to design for 230 kilo newton. Our selected section 100 by 65 by 8 mm can carry a load of 285.68 kilo newton. Therefore, our design is safe. Next, in addition to that, the length of the member is provided. Therefore, you have to check the slenderness limit also. Slenderness ratio equal to effective length to minimum radius of gyration. Effective length. The, here they didn't provide the end conditions of the members. Therefore, I have taken the given actual given length itself as a effective length that is 1.5 meter. They have given as a, in the problem as 1.5 meter. And I have also got the radius of gyration of the about xx axis and yy axis from the steel table. Among these two values, least value can be used to calculate the slenderness ratio that is 18.3 mm. The length is 1.5 meter. So I am converting that into mm by multiplying with 10 power 3 divided by 18.3 use 81.96. The limit as per table 3 page number 20. In code is table 3 page number 20. See the table 3 maximum value of effective slenderness ratio for members normally acting as a tie in the roof truss or a bracing system. For this condition, the value is 350 is the limit. Our value is well below 350. Therefore, our design is safe in the stiffness part also. That's all.